Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin. Now last time we cleaned out, kinda accidentally, this uh, Pyromancer Cove. And like I promised, I did loot up all the stuff off camera, because there was quite a lot of crap. Down here, even though it's a nice setting, a little too much light for my taste, but I guess if you're a Pyromancer, you kinda enjoy that. Um, there's really nothing of interest, unless I really missed something. But I've been kind of thorough, so there's really uh, nothing of interest in the chest. I think it's just really a not, not even a magical item, as far as I can remember. And down here is just a lot of mushrooms and a lot of other similarly important stuff that was laying around. So there's that. Um, I also skilled uh, for Lilith, I think. Which one did I give you? Uh, we gave her a sidestep, so she has an extra 10% chance to evade hits. And I put... Where did I put a point? I don't even remember that. I didn't put up any points, actually. Um, for Jahan, we gave him the bigger and better for an extra attribute point, which I spend on speed. So he has more action points and can do more stuff. And I did give him... A little extra willpower for uh, defense, so he doesn't that easily get cursed or frozen or stunned. So there's that. Um, as for the points, as usual, I don't see, um, especially not for the casters, any reason to spend them until you actually have spells that you want to learn. Um, because Jahan is uh, Error Thurg, or Error Thurg, how do you pronounce that? Um, and the Hydro Sophist, which I want to like level both, obviously, but uh, don't know which kind of spells I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna keep the points until I get maybe a high level Hydro Sophist spell, and then I'm gonna give that a plus to make it an ability of four, or maybe uh, level this up two points. So I don't really know what to pick with uh, Ragnar and Daxalina yet. Because they already have uh, the the really good, like, got the all skilled up and the bigger and better and the picture of health and the thick skin, which are immediately useful. Um, I don't really see light stepper doesn't make uh, the only thing that I probably will get with Ragnar is the leech, because he'll be standing in blood a lot, uh, actually being the one tanking the damage and standing in front of the enemy. Which should be good. Not quite sure. All the rest here doesn't really seem good. Zombie doesn't fit in the picture. I mean, he's pretty good, but... Um, doesn't really fit the picture. Well, it's not, it's not good. It's good if you have other skills that complement it. But for Ragnar, it's a pretty shitty thing. Um, what a rush increases my recovery. Oh, that could actually be a thing. But I don't want to let his health drop that low. Walk it off is also, you just reduces all status effects by one turn, which also includes the positive effects, which, yeah. He's uh, mostly getting buffed by Lilith and uh, has some buffs of his own. So I don't really want that, because I'm be hurting myself more than I'll do anything. Stench doesn't fit the character. Scientist neither. Politician, maybe. But I do kind of need the intelligence. He's the charismatic one in the group. But, uh... Where's the charisma stat? Weird. Um... Two points of charisma. Where actually... Huh. Can't see the charisma stat. Stand it, huh? Uh, ah, whatever. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really... I need the intelligence, because he's a caster as well as a warrior. More warrior than caster, obviously, but we still need some intelligence to uh, be able to pull off these lightning spells. Glass cannon, same reason, he's going to be our tank. Doesn't make any sense. Far out man doesn't make sense. Five star dinner, I don't even use food. Escapist, doesn't make sense. Elemental affinity is an interesting one. But since he's uh, an air thurg as well, so he uses air 
spells. Does that mean he gets a bonus every time because there's always air around him? Or whatever does that mean? What is the element air, uh, the element lightning, that I can stand in and get, a, the, get that bonus? I don't really know that, but I have to research it. So, uh, Bully would also be probably my second choice, but I think for now it's, it's going to be the Leech, um, which isn't that useful, so I don't think I'm, I need to pick it just right now. So let's advance a little bit in this cave. Yep, down here seems fine. Um, let's give it a quick save. Not sure if I actually <coughs> had taken care of that, sorry. And let us roam around here a little more. Oh, that is not good. What to save? So probably wanna... We could go up here. Ah, oh, there's just a chest and a dead end. So let's do that first. Maybe find a good item for once. Because this... Like as much as experience as we got in here... I don't think there's anything... I don't believe you. There's a chest. And a summon wolf skill point. Well... Just also don't trust the peace and quiet up here. Hmm. So we've got a ring and a sharp spear. Let's give that to Jahan. We can look at that later. So there was something of interest here. And again, we got um, stuff that we could mine, but we don't have a pickaxe. So we can't really mine it. Anyway, so now we got this done. Uh, wasn't, what I was about to say is that we didn't really get many good items on this run so far. We had a lot of experience and we had a lot of fights and minor stuff like the, the uh, heal potions and whatnot. But real useful items we did not really get. Yo, I'm eager to take on any chest that I can. The uh, last bridge that I crossed wasn't too pleasant. What actually is this Summon Wolf skill book, by the way? Is that a magical... Mm. Geomancer. Alright. We do not have a Geomancer in the group. There's a dog that has a name. Alright, so we got Ranger, Cleric, Swordsman, Bellana, and Illusionist. So this looks like a rather tough fight. Um, the dog so far, um, the, the animals so far that we fought, didn't really, like, they were pretty... Pretty tough. Um, bleeding effects, a lot of hit points, um, and a lot of action points. Belina, I don't really know what her ability... Can't Also can't really judge from the outfit. Illusionist, I think, are the ones that can actually conjure up these... Shadow demons or whatnot. So, let us see what we have here. I could go through my items, um, but for the first try of this fight, I think we're just gonna try with what we have. And I'll wait until these guys get together, and then we're gonna have them eat a fireball. Which I hopefully can... Uh, not quite far enough. Maybe one more step. Yeah, I want to maybe hit two people with that. To start of the fight. And Valina did come up here. She just... 
now is chilling down at the river. Stop moving like that. Meow, meow. Poor doggy. Now oh, I feel bad for killing you. God damn it. Alright, so it doesn't look like <coughs> there's gonna be any more advancements. So let's take another step. Oh, oh. Coming? Almost. Come on, just a little more. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There we go. Oh, you're not... Not attacking. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll take that. So what else can we do for... Oh! That wasn't meant to... Uh, what else can we do? What's bold? <laughs> Two arms for the Immaculate Wave. Yep. What the hell was that? Oh shoot. Well, we do have a dispel summon ability. So there's that. And you did elemental absorption. Well, that's already stunned. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's the swordsman, alright. Ah, uh, this would be a nice fireball. Uh, this would be a nice many things. For now, though, we do have to destroy this summon. Because I don't know what Earth Elementals do, but he does not look any look very pleasant. So there's that. Um, do we want to summon an Ice Elemental? Probably up here to soak up some shots. Maybe here is good. Yeah, here's pretty good. And then we can just blast through to that ice attack. And I rather step one back. I think I'm just staying here. Cool. Um, can I smack you? I can indeed smack you. Oh my god, that was... Alright, looked like uh, I did 130 damage and that's just barely a scratch on that guy, but it's my just look like that. And we got the cleric. Can I, ring? Uh, can I get to him? I don't think I can get the illusionist or Valina to be charmed. And I probably rather wait for the swordsman. Where is that? There he is. So we're gonna give Ragnar a wildfire, hoping that he doesn't get disabled by some effect. And try and just maybe advance to... Maybe just keep the action points. Okay. Uh, like this. Ah, perfect, perfect! That's exactly what I needed. One person frozen. Three people hit, and now we also smack you on your stupid head. Now, let's see what they got. Probably gonna be some... Okay, special ability arrow, yes, but none that really affected me too much. That's... Ow! Oh. Ow, oh, God! I do not like that. Haha. <laughs> not one bit. I hope these guys are slow. I really hope that. Um, summon is on cooldown. Not enough action points for this. So I think we're gonna Oath of Desecration Ragnar. And let him get in the middle here and try his roundhouse attack. Which probably will be really, really good. 
here. Stand there. Um, I think I want to start healing Ragnar right away. But I think we want to do the small. Probably. More turn stunned. Um, could also throw these guys up in the air. Wave them like we just don't care. For any of you who are uh, around 80 years old know that song. I'm just gonna do the big heal. Why do any experiments? Um, and also take a step back. I don't need that poison stuff. Alright. So, let's see. That's good. That's pretty good. Um, let's get a step. Kind of risky though. We could also go with the lightning strike. It's also nice, but then we're gonna stand on this stuff. If I just take one step, do I slip? Do I even risk it? We have to hit everyone, anyways. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Loving it. And everybody's stunned as well. Um, do I keep the... Yeah, I think I just keep the three hit points. We don't need to become air, I don't think. So, stun for two turns. Stun for... Everybody's pretty much stunned. So what can we do with you? Stun for two turns and frozen. Stun for two turns and stun for two turns. This guy is not stunned, but we don't have any more range attacks with, um... I don't think fire does anything to these earth elementals. Probably can't even reach. Yeah, I can't even reach there. Huh. Fire resistance doesn't really help me at all. So I guess I'm just gonna sneak up on the illusionist and give him a couple hits and just hope that the dog is not too bad. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna bring you down. Alright, and then probably gonna make my retreat here. I don't want Dexalina right in the line of fire. And now you... I'm gonna get to work on the cleric, I'm thinking. Oh, that was smart. That was real smart. So, what can you guys do? Oh, you know. yeah, I need to get at, a, at that girl. Oh, oh. So, she's a geomancer. Yeah, alright. How many action points do you have? God darn it. Seems like way too many. Um, we do have the ability to summon here. Two turns, two turns. Stun. Um, still on cooldown. Probably for the rest of the fight. So I do want to use my ability here. Stop with the screaming. I'm just gonna do that. Alrighty. So now what else can we do? Everybody here could get pretty much could get stunned. So you guys are already stunned. Um, anybody needing heals? Just myself, basically. This attack, though, would go right through three... Ah, uh, three enemies. Let's try. Nope. It won't. Uh, oh well. I got nothing against poison, like, if you, uh, fire works against poison, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. Now, let's try some lightning strike, shall we? How about that? <laughs> oh, man. Ragnar is such a damn beast. What's left now? 
God, he's scary. Now. Look at that. Not even taking much damage. Like, you get that one heal off. He is really scary now. I'm loving that. Uh, what's also scary is that Daxalina is pretty much isolated here. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Undead Swordsman. Well, actually, we got... We got our summons in the way a little bit. And we can mostly... get a fireball behind these guys, can we? Get one through here. No. Alright, let's keep the fireball for now. What we could do, though, is get some fire underneath these guys. Yeah, I think that's good. We're also gonna damage our own self. Um, but that was the cleric, wasn't it? Where's the cleric? The cleric was dead, right? It just... Yeah. Let's take a step back. Right, so our fire elemental... Uh, fire elemental. Water elemental died. Pretty much what happens when they stand in the middle of a fire. Ah, oh, but she's poisoned, so should die. Should die pretty easily. Or we're just gonna fire off some. Uh, we don't have the summon. We don't need anything actually. Yeah, I could just ricochet. Let's do that. There we go. Another one bites the dust, and I think that's pretty much this fight won. Who's burning now? Only our skeleton. None of our own... Like, Ragnar is poisoned, but that doesn't... That doesn't hurt me too much. So I'm thinking we're gonna... Get another Ice Elemental going. If I could find a spot to cast it on, that is. Targets is out of sight, really? Do I need to step one forward? There we go, that's much better. Cast it here. Um, oh, I should have healed myself. Yeah, that was a little stupid. I still got 300 hit points, though. I'm highly doubtful that we're actually gonna be taking that much damage. And uh, now I think we're gonna show Lena how to actually hit somebody in the head. Like, this here is uh, how you do that. And in case you didn't write understand it, let me show you again. This is how you could actually... <laughs> Damn it. So now that skeleton is gonna get the... Wow, that dog. That kinda hurts. Um, yeah, the skeletons get to do the honors. I don't wanna walk through the fire here, honestly. Cleansing water, there's actually not much. <sighs> Just gonna give that to Ragnar. I have a fire shield that should help us against the burning. And uh, even though I did. Uh, I did want to do that with Ragnar. Okay. By the morning mist, you've made it. Time is short, Source Hunter. You must come. I must tell you, the Guardian is here. Here in this strange place. Who are you? I'm Almina. <coughs> Friend to the White Witch. But we peaceful souls were attacked, chased, and she was dragged into this strange dimension. Part of fairy it must be. I came to find her, but too late. What do you know about the White Witch? I will reveal... I will reveal all. You must come. Please, Source Hunter. It's the fairy realm. Cold, yet deathly fire blazes. You must come. Yes, you said that part. I, I got it. It seems changed, corrupted. The elementals in turmoil. This was once a place called Heberheim. Didn't we hear that somewhere? But something is happening here. 
How can I enter? The cultists who captured her, they had some kind of spell. They turned this very lake into a rift leading into this realm. Okay, that's a cool story. Can we now get on with it? Oh, we can walk here. That's pretty nice. There's no more fire, apparently. Um, done now. We'll just all smack him with as much as we can. And uh, as I thought, the uh, the dog is actually the toughest of these enemies by uh, by quite a bit. Look at the amount of pounding it can take, and uh, most importantly, dish out. It doesn't do that much damage with one hit, but uh, it can do like four or five hits. Pretty, pretty strong. All right, let's get there. Let's you. Yeah, Ragnar can do out, dish out quite some damage as well. We can do two shots, right? Yeah, that should, but uh, that should do it. Let's try. One, two. There we go. I love the fire shield effect, though. Man, I didn't know it looked that cool. A machete! One-handed weapon. Mm-hmm. Nice. An enlightened amulet. Some armor, health. Alright, let's uh, right away get... Well, let's, let's bring the entire party back. Uh, well, let's first get the impaler out of there. Don't do it, don't do it. Very good. Okay, so now I'll bring the entire... I don't, I'm not quite sure if actually um, you can burn loot. I'm not thinking you can, but... No, no, no! You There's still some things left. Yeah, that, that was great. Right in. Oh, that's great. Sure, let, let's all do a dance, run through the fire. That is awesome, guys. You are just the smartest people in the world. That pathfinding. Alright, let, let's uh, use that time and start healing up because we're gonna. Oh, we also need to uh, repair. I just don't want, like, the hammer time. It's not funny to me anymore. So, uh. Kind of uh, deal with that first. Okay, so this fight was pretty easy. Um. It could have gone pretty wrong as well, because three Earth Elementals plus that group is no joke. It just happened that we kind of had a very good strategic position for my type of party. Like, other type of parties could probably be very different, but uh, my type of party is one tank and the rest is all uh, versatile, long-range and damage dealers. So... That worked out beautifully there, but could definitely for other parties not work out quite as well. And also we got a good first hit off, like the fireball that didn't trigger anything. That was kind of nice. So, yeah. Looked a lot easier than it, like, could have been. And orders, potion, potion, and the bone. Let's pick the bone. Okay, let's look around here. So I thought the entire time we were talking to the White Witch, which apparently we are not. It's just a friend of her, or a spirit, or whatever, that's living in this... Mm-hmm. Living in this lake. She must have been quite powerful, though. If I look at this cave, and there's a the spirit living in here, and all these animals that got slaughtered... It's quite the owl there. Yeah. Just really, you're gonna make me fight that and then get give me a flank mace, one-handed weapon. Thank you, game. I, I really thank you. That is just I I'm at a loss for words at that generosity. Let me light a torch for all that great. What happened here? Oh right, that's the cultist spell that we picked up, right? So we're just gonna read that, and uh, cultist spell used to read. No, we don't 
actually want to read that just yet. The Impaler. Piercing damage and then add some fire on top. So we're going to be dealing almost the same amount as Bracus' two-handed axe. Critical damage is not as high. We don't get the strength bonus, but we get speed and two-handed plus one, which is not bad. And a 10% chance to set the burning status. <coughs> I'd say it's an interesting second weapon. Secondary weapon. Um, this will go to Jahan. This as well. This as well. This goes to Lilith. Um, well, I think we already have an enlightened amulet, but I'm not sure. Right, let, let's read Valina's orders. You've been entrusted with a tremendous responsibility. How do you say it? Ve Velina? Velena? Ve Velena, I think. Velena. I'm gonna go with Velena. Anybody correct me, please, if that's wrong. And neither I nor the conduit will stand for its being executed less than perfectly. You have charge of the Rift Runner, which means the responsibility is both his and yours for closing the Rift as soon as the last Immaculate has left Eberheim. Take care that this spell does not fall into the wrong hands. Mistakes will cost you more than a wrap on the hand. Signed, Lady, Lady Attenborough. Through blood, her power, blah, blah, blah. All right, the, the usual jibber-jabber underneath there. I'm uh, wondering. I'm really wondering. Oh, this thing needs a repair. You already have the burning touch and you have the fire shield as well. Merchant and apple tree. Alright, let's take a look at these items. Uh, we got the identifying glass. Let's start up here. No, that doesn't help. Sharp spear, two handed weapon. Not bad. Not good. Nobody can use that. Well, gold ring. Lore master plus one, so that can stay here, even though we probably have. Yeah, we got plenty of lore mastery already. Machete. We don't have a one handed weapon wielder, but. Thrashing old McKetty of blinding. Critical chance plus four. Two handed plus one. Really, a one handed weapon that gives two handed. That is. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. I'm probably gonna sell this, even though it's nice, with the willpower and 25 chance to set blinded. Which is a one in four. And 10% uh, chance to set crippled. It's pretty good, but the two handed kind of makes it awkward. And uh, it's not more than pretty good. Wow. This random old McCaddy of the uh, Geomancer is almost... Like, it doesn't have the stats bonus, but... It's also pretty good. And last but not least, the scale armor. Requires strength 9. Perception bodybuilding. Yeah, that's probably not gonna go on your hand. So, I think we just read the, the cultist spell here, right? Because there's not much else. The Witch's Grotto. I mean, we could go home. But we don't have... Like, there's no portal here or no waypoint or nothing. So... I can't come back then. I have to... I mean, I could come back. But uh, the way to do that is going to be walking all that way back. Which, as a kind of lazy person, I don't really like. So let us actually read that spell. I do need a vendor pretty badly though. Look at all that stuff carrying around with me. Really nobody needs that. A lot of uh, unidentified regular crap and just... Ah, oh, whatever. Used to read. Rifts of the multiverse. Sing to me, your voices I conduct into melodies yet unheard, waving new pathways between worlds. From within this enchanted parchment I call thee. We've made it this far. I doubt whatever lies beyond that rift can stop us now. Hmm. 
Let's give you that to repair first, though. go. So now you have a repaired dagger. Um, anybody else in need of desperate repairs? Yeah, I guess the two-handed axe could use a little haul over, maybe. Because it's at 47 out of 100. Pretty durable thing, though. All in all. Um, let's see, we got 96 to 240. What do we have with the Impaler. Got a little higher base damage. Hmm. Hmm. Almost the same. Why does this have a higher offense rating? Because of the strength? more damage. Don't understand this. Could also just go with a uh, 200 plus 2. I have a base of 3. I'm gonna try it out. It looks pretty cool. Though the axe is kind of... Ah, I don't know. Let's, let's just try it. Anyway, did I save already? I think I did. All right, let's go in there. Loading Hiberheim. Oh, this looks awesome. Open it. Do you want to take a swim in this? I certainly would. Somebody green up here. Green means friendly, right? Enchanted Sentinel, level 5. Attitude. This stone got an attitude towards me? Alright. Quite <clears throat> chill about this place, isn't there? Think warm thoughts. Sorcerer's blood, a well-cast fire spell, and a mug of glow wine when we're through with this mission. First chatty puddles, and now besieging flames. Miss <laughs> Almina must be an elementalist. Well, the last one was one too, right? Just water elementalist, and this one seems to be a fire one. You're oh. setting down the wrong path, source hunter. The other way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. I just could I take a second to enjoy the scenery and pick the stardust herbs. That would be. Uh, You know what I'm just thinking about? We could just use these uh, these statues, right? I could just put the teleporter pyramid here, go into the city, clean out my inventory, and then teleport back to it, right? 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 Yeah, I think that should work. I will try that out. Um, so many paths to take. Imps, oh no, these poisoned bastards. I will try that out though and probably spend some money on skills because we definitely I kind of annoys me that I'm always running around with these blinking things and available skill points I'm not really finding a way to spend them effectively but I'm kind of enjoying that we finally have a little bit more speed on Ragnar something he could really use anyway that will do it for the episode I hope you enjoyed uh, this one even though it was a rather weakish end boss like the fight in the bridge was a lot harder but that just goes to show how much positioning and careful approaching of a fight will actually uh, like how much of an advantage it will give you so keep that in mind when playing this game now enjoy your day enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you guys for watching and i'll see you around for the next episode